This is a live view in the flight control room at the Johnson Space Center. You're seeing a view of the Orbit 2 team, which is in the early part of their shift. They just came on duty here about two hours ago. This team being led by Flight Director Matt Abbott, who is just in the view here in the solid blue. He's leading this flight control team and being supported closely by astronaut Ricky Arnold, who is uh, sitting to Matt's right or the center of this view. He is an astronaut representing the crew office and also being supported by Kathy Bolt, who's also in this view. And she's been highly involved in the activities today as well, both of them again serving as the CAPCOM and the voice of the flight control team with the onboard crew. The crew woke up at midnight central time, which is the regular wake-up time for the onboard crew. They had some personal time and hygiene before breakfast, and then had their morning inspection of the vehicle and some other startup tasks, including uh, experiment samples. Once they had their personal time and breakfast, they started their day with the daily planning conference, a chance to tag up with their supporting control centers before beginning the activities of the day. First up for Commander Kevin Ford was the reaction self-test, which is a small self-test that helps uh, onboard crew members assess their uh, fatigue and performance levels on board. He also had some activities with a video camera install, as well as uh, reconfigurations of stowage and equipment in the node as part of an ongoing work with the internal thermal control system, which he's been working on throughout this week. Uh, today's activity included refilling of the cooling loops in the Columbus module. His fellow colleague and uh, astronaut, Chris Hadfield, also performed that reaction self-test and then worked on the uh, lab window configurations for the iServe study. That is the Server Environmental Research and Visualization System. It's an automated system designed to acquire images of the Earth's surface from the International Space Station. And it's primarily a means to gain experience and expertise in automated data acquisition from the space station, although it's expected to provide useful images for use in disaster monitoring and assessment of environmental factors as well. Headfield also had time for exercise and assisted with the thermal control system uh, water collection. He also performed power sensor indi indicator tests and worked with Robonaut, the onboard uh, robot as seen in this view. Meanwhile, their colleague, astronaut Tom Marshburn, worked on water reclam reclamation condensate sampling as well as water processing assembly software upgrades and work on the configurations of the combustion integration rack. Meanwhile, their cosmonaut colleagues likewise were working in the Russian side of the segment where they conducted various laptop updates, exercise, and performed more sessions of the typology experiment, which studies a crew member's ability to perform and communicate under stress. With those ta tasks complete, the crew broke for a shared midday meal and then started their afternoon with the space station emergency drill. This is an activity that is done regularly but not frequently, and it was a full integrated simulation of an emergency scenario aboard the space station complex. This was done with the full crew as well as full support from the ground control team in Houston and all locations with all the flight controllers following along and simulating all calls and actions just as they would in a real life emergency situation. That drill lasted about an hour and simulated an ammonia leak in the Destiny Laboratory thermal control system. Following the sim, the crew and the flight control team had an integrated conference and debrief to talk through the exercise. They'll continue with their afternoon activities. Again, Commander Kevin Ford continuing work on the thermal control system configs. They'll have exercise sessions. Also a ear cue hearing assessment, which is an ongoing study for long duration crew members. And continued work with the Robonaut, uh, who's also shown in this view, and family conferences. They'll wrap up their day with the end of day daily planning conference and evening meal, some off duty time and crew sleep scheduled for 3.30 p.m. Central Time.